We're going to talk about affiliate marketing. This is the affiliate masterclass. And we're going to go for about an hour. And then after that, we have our regular live. So welcome. I'm David Wong. I'm the founder of Chi Life, the frequency expert, also the Chi master. And today I'm going to be teaching you about how to, <clears throat> how to create your brand and how to craft your message because uh, these days it's very important to create your own personal brand uh, in order to get followers, in order to pe get people to watch your content that you create. It's all about social media these days, right? And you know that Netflix just uh, offered Mr. Beast a ton of money to buy his uh, channel or buy his um, show. So even the large companies when it comes to entertainment or comes to content are buying uh, the content made by creators such as uh, creators on YouTube or TikTok or anywhere else or Instagram and uh, similar social networks. So they see the value, they see the importance of uh, establishing or getting uh, expanding their reach uh, through social media. So I'm going to show you something that's very important if you are interested in doing that. So you're someone who uh, has their own business or brand or you're an affiliate of Chi Life and you want to help pr promote Chi Coils, make money from that, uh, make an income from it. Then you got to pay attention to this masterclass. It's going to give you that edge. It's going to give you those skills and that mindset and the strategies and tactics you need to succeed. So I was chronically ill for 10 years of my life with an incurable autoimmune dis disorder. And I tried everything under the sun to heal it and nothing helped. Medication didn't help. It just made things work, gave me side effects. And uh, then I started experimenting with frequency therapy with uh, Qi coils, which I invented and I also have the patents for. And then in 90 days, I healed myself completely. No more symptoms. And I was able to transform my life completely, gave me the energy and the um, motivation and the positivity and the ideas I needed to grow my business and to help people like you to become better, improve your wellness, uh, mental wellness, mental health, physical health, spiritual health, financial health as well. So today, today we're going to focus on the financial health part. So you guys are excited about that? Want to learn how to increase your financial health? Okay. So what kind of um, content do you need to make? Well, first of all, what, what are you offering? What are the benefits that people want? There's basically three things. Okay. People want to get paid. They want to get laid. They want to get, they want to live forever. Okay. Three things. That's all people want. Get paid, get laid, live forever. <laughs> All right. So basically money, sex, and longevity. Those are the big driving factors that are timeless. And um, if you can show people ways to do that uh, successfully, then you're always going to be, um, you know, taking care of your finances. Because if you can offer people solutions or a way to get those things faster or more easily in their lives, then you're always going to be in demand. Okay. So remember those things. Next is you want to always um, find out how you can be in the category of one. Okay. Somebody wants to be, no, no, he went outside. He wants to be an audience. Go. No, not today. Okay. My dog. So um, you want to figure out how you can be in the category of one. So what makes you um, special? What makes you different from other people? And what makes you an expert in a certain industry or in a certain category? Um, you know, it could be anything from your, your, even your ethnicity, right? Like I'm Asian. That helps when I'm talking about Qi energy, right? Because Qi is from China. So that helps, right? So find out like what you, uh, what your background is, even your ethnicity, your age could be a factor. 
gender could be a factor. Um, so you can start with that. And then you narrow things down. So, um, and that's kind of how I came up with my, my um, category of one, which is I'm the frequency expert. And I'm also the chi master because I can manipulate chi and I can form chi and I can send chi energy anywhere in the world. So, um, so that that's why it makes me in a category of one because there's no one else that really does that, right? So find out what it is that makes you special. Um, pick a category and then see if you can fine tune that category so that you can be number one in that category. So um, I'm going to talk about eight steps to craft your your brand, personal brand. And um, hold on a sec. Okay, sorry about that. So eight steps to craft your brand. Number one is to define your, your brand identity. Number two is to define your target audience. Number three, develop your brand promise. Number three, four, craft your message. Number five, choose your communication channels. Number six, create your brand assets. Number seven, consistently communicate your message. And number eight, monitor and, and adjust. So there's eight steps. And if you follow these steps, um, you can create a brand that can be very powerful. Hold on a second. Okay, I took care of that. All right, so um, what was I saying? So those eight steps, right? So if you do these eight steps, you're going to uh, set yourself apart from most people because most people don't know what their brand is. They don't know what they're special uh, uh, for and they don't know what their message is. So they just create a bunch of content, hopefully that, hoping that something sticks. And many people, some of them succeed because they do so much, they do so much content that eventually they kind of figure this out on their own. Um, or some people naturally are good at this, but for the rest of the people, we, you know, we make lots of content and then a lot of it doesn't work. We don't get any views or we don't get any followers and we kind of wonder why we give up. So most people do, people do that. So now instead of um, going by trial and error, if you, you know, have this model, these eight steps, it'll help you to fine tune your branding. And you can use this for anything from branding you as a person, you know, when you go out socially uh, to become more popular with the ladies or with the guys, this can help you with that. Or you could use this to brand your own home business or, or your own um, small business. Or even if you're doing millions of dollars a year, this could help you to brand your product or service uh, and help you make millions more per year. Okay, so this is, uh, these, are, these are principles that can be used on many different levels. All right, so first is de defining your brand identity. Uh, so you need to identify, okay, what, what is your identity? What is an identity? Identity is your values, your mission, your unique selling proposition, and what sets you apart from everybody else. All right, so um, let me just share what our company's uh, brand identity is, is, is in self-healing, right? We're all about self-healing. We're all about hope empowering people to heal themselves and then also healing the world together so those are our core values okay it's pretty pretty unique because we use technology to do that there's you know other people that talk about meditation or just like intention and uh, and and um or using a method like breathing method a qigong breath work people talk about fasting things that people have to do or people have to learn but what makes us different is that we use technology that is automatic and doesn't require effort or training. So that makes us very unique in our field of self-healing, of giving people hope, empowerment, and healing the world together, uh, combining that with technology. So that's how we do it. So think about how this, uh, how you can do it and how you can uh, create that brand for yourself. Ask yourself, okay, what, what's your values? What's important to you? What, what's your mission, mission? What's your purpose? What kind of change do you want to make in other people's lives? And what is your um, unique selling proposition? So the, it's also called USP, uh, unique selling proposition. So what do you offer that is unique and different from everybody else? 
let's take a look at um, some big companies. Like what's Amazon's unique selling proposition? Well, it's pretty clear, right? They offer a lot of selection and convenience and, and speed, right? Speed is really in key. You want to order something, you want to get it fast, you order from Amazon and um and ease ease of shopping right when you go on the amazon you can find what you need very quickly there's and then uh you, there's reviews there's a uh, product information and videos everything you need to know and get in order to make a decision to buy that thing right and it makes it easier to buy you just click a few buttons and you can buy it and it comes to your door so that's their unique proposition because they do it better than pretty much everybody else okay so uh take a look at um you know, what's, what's another company? Tesla. Okay, what's your, their unique proposition? Well, um, you can tell by their branding simplicity, right? Um, also, the, you know, futuristic and uh, environmentally friendly and also um, cool, right? Just like Apple, right? Before Apple came along with their phones, having a phone was not something, it's not a fashion statement. Now, having a phone is a fashion, fashion statement. We change our phones every six months or so, right? At least one year. Because now a phone is a fashion statement. So they change something that everybody uses, which is a, a very you know, common thing. Everybody has a phone. But Apple turned it into something that becomes part of a lifestyle, that becomes part of, a, of an image. So their unique proposition, uh, Tesla, is to provide that image. Um, which is a huge part of their brand, right? The image, uh, the simplicity, and the high tech part of it, and and future future based thinking, which is like in the future they're going to be self driving cars. That's why we invest in the space, you know, uh, you know SpaceX, and so they're all future looking. So that's their unique proposition because they do it pretty much better than everybody else. So think so that's in a big scale. What about on the smaller scale? Okay, think about what gives you what what are you offering that special? So that all ties together with like what are your skills, and uh, what are you good at? Like what's your strengths? Uh, I would go take a strength assessment. And there's lots of these online. Find out what your strength is. Find out what your personality is, and what you know sorts of roles or jobs or um, positions are more suited towards your pers personal style, uh, personality. Astrology also makes a uh, difference when you're born. Uh, the, the, your astrology will sign both the Greek zodiac and also the uh, Chinese zodiac. Take a look at both because depending on when you're born, you have a different personality and you have different strengths and weaknesses as well. Okay, so look into that to find out what's your strength and you want to focus on the strengths. You don't want to focus on the weaknesses. The mistake that a lot of people make is that they focus on weaknesses and then they work really hard on the weaknesses. And by the end time they uh, retire or die, they have a whole bunch of med mediocre weaknesses. OK, so what if you focused on your strengths instead and worked on those your whole life? And by the time you retire, you'll be one of the world's best. You have the superhuman strengths. So find out what your strengths are. The earlier you find out, the better. You may be already doing and getting success from it. Take a look at your track record. What have you have success with? If you have success with it, it's probably because it's your strength. Now, you might even be able to identify, identify strengths that you, you have that you didn't even know about. A lot of times we have strengths that we are not aware of, but other people are aware of. So ask your friends, ask your family, ask, ask them what your strengths are, and they'll tell you and basically reaffirm or maybe even enlighten you about strengths that you have okay so based on those strengths you want to create that unique prop, you know, selling proposition so if you're someone in the very outgoing then maybe your your unique proposition is oh um or part of your brand is that outgoing uh vibe right or if you're somebody who is um artistic right likes to draw or likes to design then that could be part of your unique brand unique selling proposition right so if you're selling um you know uh you're selling i don't know dog clothes or something clothes for your dog then maybe your design is going to be unique and special because because you have that that strength of designing something that looks really cool or very cute or something for a dog okay so 
Any questions about step number one, defining your brand, your values, which includes your values, which what, what what's important to you, your mission, which is what you want to accomplish in the world, and um, your unique selling proposition, which is your unique um, style or your unique way of doing things or solving problems. Okay, so that takes us to number two. Determine your target audience. Who do you want to reach with your personal brand message? So who do you want to reach? The question you want to ask is, who do you want to be a hero to? And with Chi Life, we want to be a hero to people who want a different way, alternative way to heal themselves or to improve themselves. Uh, they're tired of medication, surgeries, the conventional way because it's not getting there anywhere. A lot of times it's making them worse. And um, they're looking for a natural solution. And they may have even tried all the natural solutions, like they've taken supplements, they've done acupuncture, they've done uh, herbs, they've done fasting, they've done meditation, but those are not working either. And then they were looking for more. There's got to be something else. So they come and find Chi Life, where we use technology to help people transform themselves and help people heal themselves. Uh, and we basically um, activate the body's own natural healing abilities. So that makes us very unique. And uh, so that's who we want to be a hero to, those people who are looking for a solution, looking for a way to heal. Um, another group of people that we are looking, uh, that we're a hero to are people who want to, um, uh, you know, take themselves to a higher level. They may not like be like uh, chronically ill. They may not have any disease, serious disease like I did but they just want to take their living quality up to a higher level, or they want to ascend into abundance, or they want to, um, they want to achieve their, unlock their full, uh, their full potential as a human being. Um, or they want to, they want to just, just take their um, vibration to a higher level. So we offer, we offer, um, solutions for that. So we are, we can be, be, we are basically heroes for, for those people as well, because we give them an easier way or a way to enhance whatever practices they're doing now to, to achieve those goals. Okay. So ask yourself, who, who do you want to be a hero to? If you can't think of any, just think of other heroes that you uh, admire and maybe you can do the same thing or try to try to help the same group of people. Okay. Um, so once you find this audience, you're going to find out like, what do they need? What are their pain points? And what are their aspirations? Okay, so what do they need? And, you know, with she life, it's pretty clear, because I knew what they needed, because I needed myself, I needed healing, I had chronic disease that's incurable. And I needed to find a way to heal myself. Otherwise, I would live the rest of my life in pain and in suffering. So, so that's pretty clear. Um, and if you're an affiliate, you know, it's pretty, you can just copy that, right? That's pretty clear. You can, because it's all the same audience. So if you're an affiliate of Chi Life, just focus on that group, the group that needs to heal, the group that wants to aspire to be better, aspire to transform themselves, to improve themselves, uh, to be better. Okay. And specifically, what we need now, like in 2023, some very specific things are burnout. So many women and men are experiencing burnout and because of combinations of stress, work stress, financial stress, relational stress, um, and lack of, lack of proper taking care of their bodies because they're just working so much and also they're emotionally taxed and physically taxed, and they might have um, experienced loss. And I hear lots of people experience loss, loss of uh, loved ones because they pass away during the last couple of years, or even recently. That's been happening a lot. So that's causing a lot of emotional stress for the entire family. And people still have to go to work. People still have to take care of chores and take care of the kids and pets and whatever. So, um, so people are getting really burned out uh with the um economy issues with the economy with the inflation people have to work harder trying to save more money 
and that's causing more stress. So basically it's stress and burnout, lack of energy. Uh, that's a huge problem right now. And then that also leads to a, you know, a, a plethora of, of diseases, chronic uh, diseases, mental health and physical health uh, problems. So, um, so it's pretty clear that there's a lot of need uh, for something like chi coils and for our frequencies, for chi life and for our training, for our technology, because there's so many people that are suffering and then really they don't have the time to take another course or read another book. They don't even have time for that. They don't have time to learn how to meditate or even meditate. Okay. And the meditation apps, you know, they're nice and make you kind of relax a little bit, but they really, they don't actually give you life force. Okay. So this technology can give you the life force. That's what's the difference from everything else, um, which is trying to help people kind of like work with what they have already. Right. Cause most courses just teach you how to work with what you have, but what Chi Quotes do is they actually give it to you. Even if you don't have it. Okay. So you don't have life force. It's going to give you the life force and sustain your life force, actually grow it for you instead of relying on what you have and what you're able to do, which is uh, very difficult because you really have like severe burnout and you have severe problems. Um, you don't have any life force and working with what you have is nearly impossible. So that's why you need someone uh, like a healer or a coach to help you and give you that extra boost to get you out of that rut. And that's a good thing because there's people like that to help you. But the bad thing is that you have to hire them and you have to pay money. So why not just, and, and they only on, work on a certain schedule. Uh, so, so why not use a chi coil that will replace that? Because they're gonna give you the energy. They're gonna give that to you if you don't have it without any coaching, without any, um, you know, without a healer, an actual healer trying to heal you or energy healer specifically. Okay, so define your target audience. Who do you want to be a hero to? What are needs, pain points, and aspirations? We just talked about that. That's pretty clear. So number three, what is your brand promise? Um, so what's your brand promise? Like, what are you promising people? Well, what we offer is, um, we, our pro promise is to help people transform themselves 1% a day. And we've been very successful at that um, because we've been doing that actually much faster than 1% a day. But we say 1% a day because people can relate to that. Oh, just a little bit every day and I can actually transform a lot over time. So that's the idea. That's our brand promise. Uh, another brand promise we have is to choose your mood and energize your body. You can see it on our website. Uh, we want, we, we're basically offering people a way to choose how they feel, choose their mood, like choosing a channel on, on TikTok or choosing an app, choosing a, a frequency. That's, that's how simple it is. And also by um, energizing the body. Okay. I guess that's what people need energy. They're just too tired and burn out. Okay. So what is your brand promise? You can use the same ones that we have if you're an affiliate or you need to find out some other ones. Like what, what's your promise that you can offer people from what you, uh, what you do? If you're doing coaching, if you have a product or service, what promise just ties back to your unique pro selling proposition, right? The USP, what unique promise or benefit are you um, offering people? Okay. And the next one is crafting your message. So what is the message? The message is about transformation. It's always about transformation. So what transformation or what message are you going to offer? So for us, we basically saying, again, transform, transform yourself 1% a day with frequency and energy. Okay, that's basically our message. And we have the world's most powerful um, electromagnetic frequency device. So it's like a wireless charger for your body. It's uh, contactless and you, it's um, automatic. You just turn it on and you improve yourself 1% a day. That's our, that's our message. Okay. So what you want to do is you have an elevator pitch and you have key messages and you have a positioning statement. So ele elevator pitch, if you don't know what it is, is people are used to go up and down or we still go up and down elevators. So you don't have much time. You have like 30 seconds. And let's say you, you meet an executive, a top executive, 
and you got in this elevator with this person, you only have 30 seconds to pitch your idea to them. So your elevator pitch has to be very concise and to the point and, and um, gets your message across in a very short period of time. So you might start out with a long um, message, okay? And eventually you need to shorten it and make it more concise and to the point that you can say it in a matter of 10 seconds because people come on TikTok and they say, oh, this is interesting, what is it about? Well, I have to say in 10 seconds what this is about before the guy is gonna to swipe to another channel, right? So you need to have a message um, uh, uh, a, uh, even faster than the elevator pitch. What's faster than an elevator? <laughs> What's that? You call it a TikTok pitch then, right? You only have five seconds to, to uh, get your message across. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, people are going to swipe to another channel. That's right. There are better ways to make money than scamming people. I totally agree with that. Yeah. So, yeah, you don't want to be um, saying any message that is not true. Okay. So there's many people out there that use these concepts, but they tell lies, right? Their promise is fake because they cannot actually do what they um, say they can do. Um, their mission is fake. They don't actually want to do that. Their real mission is to help, is to make money. If your real make, make mission is to make money, then just say that. Just say that's your mission is to make money, right? Um, so you need to be authentic. Like even if say, oh, your mission is to do something horrible, then just just say it and tell people, right? <laughs> so, and yeah, people who um, scam people, they they use these same ideas but they, they, they turn it into something that's not true, that's not really authentic to who they are. Um, so make sure that your message and your brand message is authentic to what you really want to do, what your true values are, what your true mission is, and uh, make sure that your brand promise, that you can keep your promise, okay? And don't over-promise, you want to under-promise and over-deliver. So make sure you, like when you say, we transform people 1% a day, you know, that's an under that's an understatement because tra people transform faster than that a lot of times with our coils but then we can do that we can confidently do that because we've done that we have a track record so so um that's very important so in your pitch your elevator pitch you need to um you need to uh take a look at one two and three and then craft that message and then um uh so so it would be like okay what what does it do right you need a uh a description of what it is like what does it do well it's a it's like a wireless charger for your body and then and like sometimes i say pulse electromagnetic frequency device like nobody knows what the heck that is right so i'll just say it's a device that can charge your body okay so you want to you you if it's a really high technical thing like chico is actually quite technical you know the, the challenge for me a lot of times is to make it simple and in words that everybody can understand and anybody can like relate to and give them that aha moment and realize oh I, okay i, I kind of get what this thing does because it looks kind of complex and complicated okay it looks kind of funny it looks like a lollipop what is it what's this donut and i say well it's a device that can charge your body with energy there we go so that's my one sentence answer what's chico's it's a device that charges your body with energy okay and then the second sentence could be well, it also has um, thousands of programs that can help you choose your mood. And, um, and that's good, good enough, right? Sometimes we get too complicated. Like sometimes we get too technical and people don't understand. So if you're going to do your, your um, pitch statement, your five second pitch statement, you need to basically come up with something that says, what is it? What does it do? And then, you know, what's the benefits of it? Okay, and then next pe next thing that people are going to ask, well, how does it work, right? And then you need to answer that very clearly too. Well, how does it work? It uses frequencies and magnetic energy to charge your cells and your brain waves and and tune your brain waves, and that's it, right? And people can understand that, right? Brain waves, okay, yeah, brain waves. We have brain waves, and that you know changes how you how you uh, feel, your you know emotions and and your mental state. Uh, and then your body, your cells, yeah, okay, your cells have energy, so they understand that, right? So, so you use uh, words like that, and basically write it out, read it to your friends, read it to your family, and see if that is um, that makes sense to them, okay? And then find some people that don't have never heard of Chico's before, have never heard of your product or service before, and then 
you know, explain to them what it is in that short, concise sentence and see if they get it. Okay, and and craft it and improve it more. So you want to have a very short one, like a five second. Then you want to have a 30 second pitch and then you want to have like, let's say a five minute one. Okay, so um, what that I invent, I invented the Qi coils. It's a uh, electromagnetic device, as I just mentioned. So it uses electromagnetic fields, like an energy field to charge uh, your body and your and actually change your brain waves. Anyone who would buy this is either an idiot or desperate. This is not a moral thing to do. Okay, Harry, so please go to my website and um, go to my science page and go to my reviews and, um, and also read the reviews from the doctors and from the chiropractors and the surgeons that are currently have been using my products for years and have a lot of success with them. Okay, so I understand when you come to these TikToks and you see somebody talk about a healing product, uh, a lot of people's um, initial reaction is that, oh, it's a scam, it's a snake or you're just making money from people. Okay, that's fine, but you know, please go take a look at the website, do your due diligence, do the research, and find out if this is real or not. Because if it's not real, then yeah, then you can you can troll me and you can write a bunch of comments. But if it is real, then this literally will change the world, which is actually what it's doing now. Okay. Okay, Harry. Um so you, I'm gonna let you stay on if you're going to be more um, like a skeptic, but not like a cynic. So a skeptic, yeah, you have skepticism, but you actually go and do the research. A cynic is someone that is not going to listen to anything I say, no matter how many facts or how many, how much proof and how many people, uh, success stories you uh, tell you. Uh, so don't be a cynic. If you continue to continue being cynic, then I just have to boot you from this channel, Harry. Okay. Uh, next, craft your message. Okay, we just talked about that. Number five, choose your communication channels. Where will you sh share your personal brand message? This could include social media, your website, speaking engagements, and more. So choose your communication channels, okay? So now you have this message. Well, where are you going to um, tell this? Who, who are you going to tell this message to? And where are you going to tell this message to? So it could be uh, like on social media. It could be in a live meeting. It could be in, you know... Um, whatever social group that you go to, uh, you know, you could be on podcasts, like uh, it can be on webinars. So you basically have to, or it can be all, all the above, or you could write a book, right? You can write a song about it. You can do, there's so many things you can do social media these days. You can write blogs about it. So like we do all of them, okay? But you probably won't be able to do all of them because if you're just starting out, you don't have that much time, right? Um, so pick one or two things that, uh, places where you can focus where you can get the most most results and there's people on those platforms that are interested in what you have to talk about uh and then and then start start um uh basically uh spreading your message on those platforms okay so number six is creating your brand assets which includes the uh, visual identity logo uh, colors fonts uh, developing website creating content um that aligns with your personal brand message so so uh visual identity you can get some ideas right certain colors work with certain things um like uh it depends on your skin tone too so like it's a fashion thing okay like like if you have a certain skin tone some colors don't look good on you if you have a certain hair color some colors don't look good on you so make sure that your brand colors match how you look like as a person because you're doing personal branding right and also those colors um, you know, are, are the proper colors for your brand. Okay. Like for example, if you're going to sell baby clothes, you know, what colors come to mind, right? Baby blue, baby pink, right? Those colors, right? So if you're going to sell, um, you know, sunglasses, what colors are those? Obviously they have a limited thing that you can do. So depending on your, your product and your, you know, also going back to, um, who's your market, you know, who's your target target audience? What kind of colors do they like? And what kind of uh, colors and, and themes and and things and, and uh, what do you call it? Um, you know, um, icons do they like? I, I mean, like, is it is it a, uh, do you want to use animals? Because animals get a lot of attention. A lot of people watch cat videos or dog videos. So 
Uh, do you want an animal in there? Like, what kind of shapes do you want? Is it going to be nature based? Is it going to be high tech based? Is it going to be like, so what's your team? So you need to figure those things out and then find a, um, a basically your brand and then they start developing your brand assets so that whatever you do, it's going to be coherent. All right. Um, that means, you know, you, you go to your Instagram and it's going to look the same as your YouTube and the YouTube is going to look the same as your um, blog and your website is going to look the same as, as all the above so that it's all coherent. And that's how you get people to recognize you uh, from your brand. OK, and branding is very important because I think they're evaluating Mr. Beast at one point five billion dollars. You think about it. One point five billion dollar valuation of Mr. Beast, and he's just some content creator. OK, so just think about how much value you can create for yourself, for your own personal brand, um, if you can if you can get this right. OK, so will you be worth one point five billion dollars? Well, if you can build it as big and uh, be as good as it at it as um, someone like Mr. Beast, but you don't even need one point five billion dollars to make a lot of money, right? So um, so that's number six. Number seven, consistently communicate your message, be intentional and consistent in, comp in sharing your personal brand message across all channels. This will help build brand recognition and establish your expertise in your field. Yeah, so be consistent. Okay, so consistent means if you're gonna do it once a month, then do it once a month. If you're gonna do it once a week, then do it once a week and stay stick with that. And you need to stick it with it for a long period of time, at least six months to a year. Okay, if you're gonna post daily, then make sure you post daily every day because you need to have this consistency in order to establish that um, the brand once again, right? Establish that connection and that audience, right? People need to see you or a part of you maybe 50 times before they can recognize you and say, oh, I know who this person is, okay? People have to listen to your message. You, basically in marketing, they say that there needs to be seven touch points before somebody buys something, okay? So it may be, okay, they see your website, okay, but they leave, then they come and see you on the live and then they leave and then they come, they check out a post on your Instagram and they, or they read their blog and then you get an email from you and or they get a text message from you. So after seven points of contact, then they, then they feel comfortable enough to trust you and buy something from you. So, but, but that won't happen unless you're consistent, right? So that's why you need to be consistent be intentional okay take it seriously um put it in your calendar uh block off the time you need in order to create the content block up the time you need in order to do the lives uh and so on um okay and number eight finally is uh to monitor and adjust so monitor your brand message to ensure it is resonating with your target audience make adjustments as needed to stay relevant and impactful so uh, that's right. Monitor and adjust your personal brand message. So go through the whole steps one to seven. By the way, this is the affiliate masterclass, right? This is um, not the usual live that I do. This is an affiliate masterclass for mainly the affiliates. We have over 500 affiliates on our, uh, on our store, Chi Life store. So this is for their training. But I made this public too. So because if you're interested in becoming an affiliate, you can learn about this and it's free. This, this training is free. Uh, and you don't have to use this. I mean, you can use this um, training for anything. Like I said, even you can use it for branding yourself to meet the guy or girl that you want, right? Because when you think about it, whatever you are now, you're already a brand. You just don't know it, okay? Your brand is when you walk into a room uh, and people make an already assumption about who you are, what you do, uh, how much money you make, how likable you are, how attractive you are when you walk in a room. That's your brand. That's human nature. Okay. So if you can, you can <laughs> go through these steps and then create a brand for yourself that would give a good impression because they say the first impression is the, the most important impression. So it's also about being able to give an impression to people um, uh, who never met you before. Okay. Uh, it can be used to help you attract the opposite sex or who, or, you know, someone that you want to, um, date 
Okay, so all these all these techniques are all these uh, training you can use for that as well. Okay, so, so like like I said, number eight is to basically fine tune everything. So your your message, your core message, um, even the audience would go back to number one. Okay, number one is define your brand identity, your values, missions, your, sell, your unique pro, uh, selling proposition. Number two, your target audience. You know uh, what their needs, pain points, and aspirations are. Who do you want to be a hero to? So that may change, right? Maybe you find an audience, you test something with them, and they're not responding. Then you need to change your audience, or you need to fine tune in the audience. Uh, your brand promise, right? Find a brand promise that first is appealing, but also that you can keep, right? Make sure you can keep the promise. Uh, craft your message. So yeah, this is uh, very important. You need to test different ways of uh, saying or explaining what you do. Uh, and you can, if you do advertising, that's a really good way to test it because you can test it with different ads that you can make and you can, you can see the statistically, like which one actually performs better than the other. Um, also communication channels, you can test different places to spread your message, brand assets, right? All those logos and colors you can test. And then, um, also consistency, right? You can. Basically, you're testing yourself. Maybe you're going to try and attempt to um, post one person, one that one post a day, but then you test it out for a week and then you, you just don't have enough time for it. Then you might have to change that and make it, you know, one post every two days or one post every three days. But the thing is, you need to figure out what works for you. And um, you might also have to fine tune those things. So the step six is basically to go through your whole process from one to seven and then start and then fine tune every step of the process. So it may take you time to figure this out. But once you do, um, like, like I said, it's going to catapult your, your personal image and your brand or your business to a much higher level. Okay. Um, do you have a Kung Fu school in Calgary? No, I had a I had a Kung Fu school in BC, British Columbia before. A few years ago, I don't have it right anymore. I closed the school. Okay, so now I'm going to open up to some questions about affiliate marketing. Okay, this if you want to learn about the healing stuff, chi coils questions. If I have time, I'll answer them. But that live is not until six p.m., which is in about forty minutes. So I'm going to answer questions about affiliate marketing or be, or in general with Chi Life Store in in particular or in general. Okay. All right. So you have a question, just type it in the chats or the Q&A. Okay, Q&A we have here. Okay, it says chat disabled. If you can't use the chat, use the Q&A. Tony is asking, is there a certain type of person that has a faster reaction to chicos, for example, vegetarian, spiritual, healthy, enthusiast, liberals, <laughs> uh, athletes, or other types? Yes. We noticed that some people respond faster to chi coils than other people and there's actually a condition it's called uh, electromagnetic sensitivity uh it's actually scientifically categorized as a condition electromagnetic sensitive uh, sensitivity so people who are more sensitive to magnetic fields and they feel more um uh, issues or problems from cell phone radiation. Now, not everybody has it, obviously, but there's some people that are very sensitive. So people who are more sensitive to magnetic fields will definitely react faster to chi coils. Uh, now you're asking vegetarian, spiritual, health enthusiasts, athletes. Generally, people who are um, more healthy actually feel it more. So people who are more in tune with their body, um, uh, you can say are have cleaner bodies with le less toxins um will have faster reactions to chi coil uh, that's just because their energy channels are more open than somebody who is less healthy so diana says that's unfortunate that person cannot see the value of chi coil. i think you're talking about harry here harry phillips <laughs> he hasn't seen the value because he does not believe in the value because he doesn't want to actually do proper research Jeremiah, can we make our own Facebook group to share experience about Chico's? Yes, of course. So you can make your own social media groups um, to share about Chico's. 
how do you deal with the money back guarantee um what do you mean how do we deal with it basically uh we have a 30-day money back guarantee so that applies to everybody who buys from our store so uh you mean as an affiliate so as an affiliate you would offer it's the same uh, guarantee that you offer to people Diana says, will you do another international Zoom about the frequencies after six o'clock? Call. I cannot get on at six. Uh, so we do our lives at 6 p.m. on Tuesday and Thursdays. So you can come back on Thursday at 6 p.m. and uh, you can learn more about that. Or you can just watch our previous lives. They're all recorded and they're on, on YouTube. And you can watch the lives that I've done before. Uh, there's a lot of information on there. We also have a um, tutorial page that you watch. Just go to chicoil.com slash setup. And there's a lot of tutorials you can watch. Uh, basically all the training you need, every deep dive um, education you need about Chi Coils is there. You mentioned British Columbia. You live in Vancouver Island and happy I found this. Is there a home office or something in nature? Or is it all online? Yeah, so all of our, most of our affiliates just work, uh, just you know, promote online, right? Or just promote um, in their private circles. They may, you know, they may go to events and show show the chief holes and they may do like home parties where people come over and they they uh, they try the chief holes or so on. So this is something that you can do from home. Uh, you can do on TikTok. We have lots of successful affiliates on TikTok. Um, you can do on YouTube, lots of different places, okay? Okay, now I'm going to answer some other questions here. What's the difference between Tai Chi and Qi Gong? Okay, actually, here's another question. Define your personal identity. Uh, personal identity, like I said, in step one, this is going to be recorded, so you can go back, to, uh, go to YouTube later, maybe in a couple of days, and then I'm going to post the actual steps on the on the in the description, so you can read this. But your personal identity is your values your mission and your unique prop selling proposition. So what are your values? So what's important to you? And um, so, yeah, that's where, what, what's important to you? What's your mission? What do you want to do? What good do you want to do in the world? Okay. And unique selling proposition is how are you solving this problem in a unique way? So that's your identity. Now we're just talking about branding specifically. I'm not talking about your you know, your whole human identity or something profound like that. We're talking specifically about your marketing or brand identity. Okay. Uh, send me some chi. My brand is Cheetos. <laughs> okay, sure. Self-healing frequency. Gen one. Are you um, J one's sister? And then somebody asked here, um, you have questions. No, you cannot recruit more affiliates. You can't make money by recruiting affiliates. It's only um, one level. So it's like Amazon. They have their own affiliates for Amazon. You can sign up as an affiliate on Amazon and you can make money by promoting products on Amazon, but you cannot make money by signing up other, other affiliates. So we're the same thing as Amazon. What is that behind me? So that's one of our products. That is the uh, Chico Aura. So we have some uh, of these in practitioner offices, uh, some chiropractor offices, and it creates a field about 3,000 square foot big. Okay, so you can cover a whole home with it. Okay, somebody asked, uh, what's the difference between Tai Chi and Qigong? Is there a tu tutorial for new affiliates? Yes, we have a lot of tutorials for new affiliates. Just sign up as an affiliate. By the way, if you're not sign up as an affiliate, go to use the chi.com. If you see here, use the chi.com. Use the qi.com. And on the bottom of that page, uh, you can sign up as an affiliate. It's free. And once you get approved, then you can go in and you can um, you can watch all the tutorials. We have actually a lot of videos. Actually, I did a course on how to do marketing on TikTok. It's free. Uh, we used to sell it for $100, but then we were giving it for free. You get the resources on how to um, uh, make TikTok videos, how to you know, learn the trends, how to do tags, how to basically how to be successful on TikTok. So all that is inside of the affiliate area. There's many sections in there. Once you get uh, approved as an affiliate, you can log in and you can get access to those. So watch those. 
it's all free. Okay. Uh, okay, back to the question. What's the difference between Tai Chi and Qigong? Yeah, so a lot of people ask that. Uh, Qigong is more internal, so it, it it's more about um, basically directing the life force inside of your body. Okay, uh, using your intention to, to direct your life force inside your body. Tai Chi is actually a martial art. So the movements are actually, the applications for it is for fighting. Like, even though it looks so slow and fluid, the actual application is for fighting. So that's the main difference. Hey, Demisi, thanks for the, the likes. What's the average pay per affiliate? Um, for active affiliate is about, I think I did this, about um, like 800 bucks or something like that. Inner, inner circle, uh, you're not ready for inner circle. Okay, Harry, I'm going to have to boot you because you're still um, not being cordial. So goodbye. All right. So um, another thing you're going <laughs> to might, might, might uh, encounter, and you probably will encounter if you do this long enough, is you're going to have trolls, people who uh, um, keep saying, uh, uh, you're a scam or this is snake oil or you're just doing this to take advantage of people or how how can you go to sleep at night knowing that you like defrauded so many people and take advantage of so many people you're gonna get that once in a while so what I usually do is I give them one chance right I say okay you know, I understand that you're skeptical but uh, please go to my website and uh, review the, the science okay review the reviews and then check out the background of all the doctors and all the physicians that are using my product and then come back and then you know tell me your, your opinion about it right so most of the time if they keep on saying negative things or just just trolling then you, you can just block it it's okay well you had your chance i'm just going to block you uh if they go to your site and then they read the stuff and then they start to ask questions like um oh okay well how does this work right so they start to you know become more open minded. Then you can start to open up the conversation and actually you know explain what it works, uh, how it works, and what you do, and you know and that stuff. So and then so you give them one chance, okay? If they if they keep start if they keep trolling and you know blaming you and making you feel uncomfortable and insulting you, then just just block them, okay? Yeah, Inner Circle Inner Circle is a private coaching program. And fifteen thousand dollars a year—that's how much I charge for private coaching. Um, and that's because I have the credentials for that, and I should actually should be charging more for that. Um, many coaches charge a lot more than fifteen thousand dollars a year. So you can call it scam as much as you want, but it's all about how much value you can give to somebody. Okay, um, I've I've you know researched and written about frequency and energy healing for 15 years. I'm a best-selling author. I'm the world's number one um, uh, leader in frequency healing technologies. So basically, if somebody is going to invest $15,000 a year, they're going to get the value from me. Okay. So if you don't think it's any value, then that's why we don't want, that's why there's an application form. Okay. We don't want people like you to to join the program and that's why it's inner circle so and um so it's it's an inner circle because we don't want people like you to join it okay then so sorry about the cheetos joke no I, I like jokes i mean i laughed at it right as long as you as you as long as you make jokes that are not offensive it's okay like i don't find cheetos it's just like a wordplay that's kind of funny so I don't think it's a uh, it's a uh, offensive, but some people make offensive jokes, which is um, not cool. Is there an issue with affiliate accounts? I have not been able to access the doc the after your sign up and was approved. Um, maybe you need to reset your password. There shouldn't be any uh, issue with your affiliate accounts. Uh, you just need to either reset your password. If you need help with that, just contact our support team. Okay. So you think this is an Andrew Tate scam? Andrew Tate's, um, well, the people that buy his thing is a fifty dollars a month or something like that. Uh, is it a scam or not? Well, it depends on how much value. Did they get value that's worth fifty dollars a month? Right? Did they get training or education or motivation that's worth fifty dollars a month? 
If it is, then it's not a scam, right? Like the, basically, can he deliver what he promises, right? Is he is he promising people that he's gonna, they're going to make a million dollars in a week, right? I don't know. So if he can deliver what he promises, and the, and the value that he's charging for the course is less than the value that people get from buying the course, then it's not a scam. Okay, so I mean that that explains what what's legit and what not a scam, right? So if 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 what I'm offering, what what you're offering. And what I am offering is legit and actually does what it says. And the money that you're charging for it is less than the value that people get from it. Then it's that technically is not a scam. Technically it, it is, it is fair trade. Okay. So just think about it in that, that sense, instead of, um, instead of calling these things uh scam, I no, I don't, Andrew Tate, I think he, there's things we can learn from him and things we, you know, people hate him, people love him. Um, what he's done is pretty impressive. I don't like him as a person. Definitely don't. He's way too flamboyant um, and, you know, too arrogant. And, uh, you know, he's tried to t tone himself down to, uh, in order to be more, you know, palatable to most people. But, you know, when he was on TikTok, he was just very abrasive and his strategy was just to say as much abrasive things as possible to get attention. So there's things that we can learn from everybody, even though they may not be the best people. That's the way I see it. You know, I, you can hate people all you want, but it doesn't do you any good. It doesn't help you. Like there could be evil people in the world and you can hate them and then be bitter and you can have resentment against them, but it doesn't help you. Okay. Um, I think it's better to say, okay, well, what can we learn from this person? Uh, if, if they are actually a scam artist, which they are, you know, there are a lot of scam artists out, out there. I've got scammed many times. Then even if you got scammed, right? Um, find out, okay, what did I learn from this? How can I not be scammed the next time? How can I use this experience now to find out who is, who is legit and who is, who are their scammers? Okay. Because what you, what happens is when people get scammed, they get hurt so much and they lose money or they get like, they lose their confidence and then they never trust anybody ever again. And then if you do that, you kind of stuck because, because we need to develop relationships if you want to succeed in business. Okay. Success in business is all about trust. It's all about uh, re relationships, building bonds with people, building trust with people. So, if you are so hurt that you're not willing to trust anybody, then you're going to have problems building positive relationships too. So eventually I'm not, you know, you need to figure out how you can determine how you can figure out whether somebody's a scammer or not. Okay. And I'm not going to talk about this in this, you know, session. We don't have enough time. I got to do another live soon, maybe in the next live in half an hour, I might talk about this. Um, you know, but there's many things that you can, assess and evaluate to figure out whether somebody is real uh, or not. Um, and a, a lot of it has to do their, with their track record. And a lot of it do, do, has to do with what I talked about now. Like, what is their, what is their value? What is their value? How can you tell what their value is, is what they spend their money on, right? You see people like Andrew Tate, what do they spend money on? A whole bunch of cars, expensive watches and stuff like that. So that's their value, right? So what I spend money on. David Wall, I spend money on investing in my company and making my products better and investing in a, in a team and talent in order to build a better company so that we can uh, create a better product and service so that people can enjoy this product and, and, and transform their lives and find improvements in their lives and help more people and, and so on. And where do I spend my time? You, you can tell what person's values are, how they spend their time, how they spend their money. And then also who are their top five best friends that are closest to, okay? So I would do that. Find out what those things are and you find out what their value is and what drives the person. And if those values are in alignment with your values, then maybe you can trust this person, right? But if their values are not in alignment with your values, then maybe you should not even follow the person or should not have a relationship with this person. So you need to make sure you find out what their values are. What's their mission? Okay, what is it that they want to do in the world? What good do they want to do in the world? Are they just 
you know, or they just, um, they don't care about the world. They just care about themselves. They just want to make more money, right? So there's nothing wrong with making money, nothing wrong with wanting to make money. But if that's the only thing they, they want to do, then that's the problem. And if they're willing to do it uh, in any means possible, then that's another problem, right? So yes, it's okay to make money, but um, what other values and what other reasons you're making it for and what other um, purpose does this person have? Okay, so you need to figure those things out. And then those things gonna help you figure out whether you can trust this person or whether you can, um, and whether you should just look the other way and ignore them. Okay, um, I got some more. You're too serious about your business. Well, of course I have to be serious. I have lots of people uh, working in my company and I have to make sure that they get enough money to support their families. So I better take it seriously. Is there an issue with affiliate accounts? Okay, I answered that about already. Uh, and yes, I have contact support two days ago and no response. Um, can you send me a direct message with your email address? Then I can look it, look it up for you. I'm too, I'm too serious and too dedicated to my business to be a scam. Well, that's, um, I don't know. There, there's some, some I, I appreciate you saying that, but I know some people that are not the most, let's say trustworthy people, and they are very hardworking and dedicated to their business as well. Okay, so how hard a person works or how dedicated they are is not a good indicator of whether it's a scam or not. So see, see a lot of people get um, confused that with, uh, and, it's, and it's okay, right? And I appreciate you, you saying that to me, that I'm dedicated to my business. I think what you mean is I have my heart in this business, which is different from dedicated, business, dedicated to the business. There's a lot of people who are not trustworthy but they work hard and they dedicate their business and you shouldn't trust them and you shouldn't buy their stuff. Um, but for me, it's different because I, I work hard, I'm dedicated, but I also have my heart in it. This is my passion. Okay, so it's not, a, it's not just a product. This is my passion. This is my purpose, right? So that's the difference that you should be looking for. Yeah, so that's what you should be looking for. Okay, any other questions about the affiliate program? Oh, there's more. Uh, if the person has sacred chant recorded on their phone, can they create PMF chant with Chico? No, they could, but that's not what we, that's not how we use our, use our, um, use our, uh, technology. That's not how we do it. It's not by using chants. You can try it if you want, but that's not how we do it. You've been studying frequency and music and color as well. It's addicting. I will send you a message. And look at this program closely. It's vibing with me. I've been building a platform and this might be a beautiful addition I need. That's great, Carly. They're all annoying. Yes, you need a troll watcher. They're just a waste of energy. You're doing great. Thanks for the support. Do you have a suggestion on how to promote Chi Call Group on Meetup? Um, well, just start the Meetup and um, make the topic about something that you want to talk about. And then bring the cheat calls there and then have people try it. That's that's pretty simple, right? And then just uh, target people who are interested in uh, alternative health or energy healing or meditation. So target those people. Put those keywords in your in your thing. Oh, hey, Demisi, you're here. How's it going? Let me turn up my volume. What's up? I just saw you here and said to invite you here. So how's it going? Good. Good. So maybe some things you can chime in about regarding the affiliate program. Um, besides that, I love it. Um, I also joined the inner program and that also just made everything amazing um, with the courses and everything and the frequencies. But yeah, I actually just got some lights for my, my like, TikTok videos and everything like the really cool lights and I'm like really excited to go back live and um you know just have fun on TikTok and showing off the products if they happen to see it 
But the really cool thing is that I put the negative energy frequency on, and that keeps all the trolls out. <laughs> For real. And everyone else that watches, they tell me, they go, you don't have it on, do you? Like, they can even feel the frequency, the change of it. Oh, yeah? Like, they can tell that it's not on. Wow. Yeah, and so I have to put it on because I'll be like, what do you want me to put on? I, I didn't put like, it on today. I didn't put it on today. That's uh, why we had the troll. <laughs> I know. I was like, he doesn't have it on. This is different. I'm like, what's going on? I know. That's okay. It's, yeah, it's fun. So it's a must. Yeah, I guess so. But it's okay. Sometimes, it, you know, there's a... It, 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 sometimes you you need to fight makes you stronger <laughs> that's true that's true because we do need to know these things and and how to you know because i'll let them stay and i'll give them chances because i don't want to just kick people out and then when they realize like i'm a nice person and it's actually a fun chat then they they actually like stick around mm -hmm. and then there's the others that don't and then i have a moderator though that like will kick them out for me oh that's nice. That's good. Well, yeah, I, I need, I need moderators. <laughs> I need moderators. <laughs> yeah, I tried to help out, but they only let you just like complain once and then they're like, that's enough. You can't keep complaining about this person in the chat. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I'm sorry, David. <laughs> tried my best. Okay. But yeah, the affiliate program, I love it. Um, I mean, ever since you started the whole like courses and stuff that really helped and it's just great because then you just literally guide them step by step you know like for free so that's really unheard of um yeah yeah that's great so yeah. the it's demisi her her account is demisi d-a-i-m-i-c-i -I -I. she's uh on social you can see what she's doing, maybe learn from her because she's uh, having a lot of success with as an affiliate on She Life Store. You can ask her questions and, um, you know, pick her brain if you like. Also, she has, yeah, yeah. Happy to help for sure. so she does a lot of lives. Maybe you can join her live when she's on and then and then chat it up with her. All right. Yep, sounds great. Okay, thanks, Thank you. Dee. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye, David. Bye um okay that's what you meant okay thanks ben uh my experience just using the rife machine app has been life-changing sound is the way to heal everyone every day yeah that's great that's good Matthew michelle okay all right so that's all for today okay more more questions i'll go through these quickly can we use tate's marketing strategy to sell cheat codes to be 20 social media platforms a day if you can then go for it how can i hear in the next live in a in a few minutes uh we're not going to be on zoom we're going to be on TikTok and youtube and instagram so just any one of those you can find me on in about 6 p.m uh carly says they need to find out what they're looking for if it's not for them move on yes that's right it's not a sales company when you have something that works yes values align thank you for this i'll be in touch with you thanks carly oh geez it's full moon also oh, trolls are out i'm going to watch your videos now <laughs> Okay, thanks for all the uh, feedback and support, guys. Um, so I'm going to be come back in 15 minutes at 6 p.m. on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. And I have some important announcements to make, so make sure you don't miss it. And again, make sure you go watch the recorded sessions. If you become an affiliate, go into the members area and affiliate area. There's a lot of tutorials and training, hours of tutorials and training in there. That's totally free. Make sure you don't miss that. There's also resources, like we have newsletters that you can just copy and paste, videos you can use, graphics that you can copy and paste directly in there. So if you um, want to uh, use those, or you can just use ChatGPT. ChatGPT knows what cheat calls are. So if you type in cheat calls, write a email about cheat calls, ChatGPT actually knows what to write. ChatGPT knows how to write a commercial for cheat calls. Anything you need to know about cheat calls, is on ChatGPT, so because it's uh, in in their brain, in the uh, artificial intelligence. So make sure you use that. Next time, I'm going to talk about how to use more of um, AI to help uh, any businesses do their marketing, which is pretty cool. Okay, so thanks for coming. If you're not an affiliate, go to usethechi.com, usethequi.com to sign up as an affiliate. Okay, use the chi and prosper.